crew, Kula Domine. It's your old pal Blue Lardy from the Blue Lardy Show coming from bright and sunny Canal Fulton, Ohio. Oh, right. So, what were you guys doing back in the late 90s, early 2000s? Well, Blue Lardy here is watching professional wrestling. And on channel 29, The Cat, back 25 years ago, to be exact, there's a show called Pro Wrestling Weekly, PWW. The stars of that show, the boss's son, Bo Smyrno, the champ, John Potok, and new role model, Rick Lee. Check it out over there. Vintage shirt over here. Hey, yeah. All right. I brought it right out of the closet for this specific event. This Sunday, April 14th, is the 25th anniversary show. So check it out. Hey, hey, hey! Now that I've kicked Dreamer's ass, I'm gonna kick your ass. The Rock walked out of WrestleMania, the people's champ. So why don't you go back to Calgary and take some more gas? Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Pro Wrestling Weekly, the 25-year anniversary special. I'm the champ, John Potok, alongside your role model, Rick Lieb, and the boss's son, Bo Smyrno. And man, has it been some time since we've seen each other. It has been. How have you guys been? been great. Who thought this would ever happen ever again? I, I miss John asking me if I was hanging boogers in his nose yep. <laughs> before we go on the air like we just Booger did. Check. Yeah, well, check. I forgot to do that this time, actually, <laughs> yeah. you know, because... Yeah, you shouldn't have. Uh, you're good, Am you're I good? good you're All right. Good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how's it been, guys? It's been forever. I, you know, I miss you guys. It's, it's been forever. Where you been, champ? I, hey, listen, man. I mean, I, I've been around. You know, I, I know, you know, over the years, we've all kind of went our separate ways, and, it, and, it, and it's been... A hell of a ride for all of us to be honest with you you know um i've done some things you've done some things rick you still got some things going on even after everything you've even been through i mean the fact that you know you actually had open heart surgery and are still in there hanging and banging i mean you got a little well, bit of crazy in you well, my brother what, what had happened was the doctors that came to me and they're like <clears throat> we're wondering if we can do a couple uh tests on you and i'm like well what are you, what are you talking about and they're like I don't we've know never, how to read and write. No, we've never. We, yeah, don't make me don't make me do anything like that. Right. Yeah, um, they're like, well, we would we would like to see what an immortal's heart looks like. So oh, if Jesus you don't mind, Christ. here you know, we go. It'll take a couple hours. Of course, it took eight. But uh, so they did that. They took little tests and stuff like that. Came back. They're like, okay, well, that's what it looks like on some of the. It'll never be dead. So I'm like, yep. Goodness. And you I'm also him now. BS. Um, you also had your little issues with with the heart and. Had to have How some things, and I'm glad you're doing good. Yeah, it's touch and go. You know, everybody has their time. I guess it wasn't his time. I guess it wasn't my time. But no, no, you know. no. Technically, I think I'm on borrowed time. If you want the truth, uh, <laughs> I'll take it. Well, Lee, I got to be honest. That maybe you know, might as well throw the first dig in there. I mean, change your diet, brother. Oh gosh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? You can't me? eat pasta every damn night. <laughs> what? Oh, That's crap. <laughs> that is crap. Okay, I, I could eat pasta every night. I could eat steak every night. No, actually, I did have to change my diet. There's a lot of fish in my diet now. That's good. And uh, and um, actually, I I always loved fish anyway, so it's not like it's gonna hurt me. But anyway, we've got a big show, man. We should probably go to our first commercial breaks, pay some bills for the week, and talk about each other and see what we've really been doing. All right. Well, it's that's the way to lead it out. We're gonna pay some bills. We'll be back right after this. Blue collar brawler Jay Watson here. I work hard all day, every day, working for the common man, working for everyone. And when I get off work and I want to have a nice cool beer to reward myself, I come to Loose Tavern in Prairie Township, Ohio. For good times with good people in a family-like environment, come to Loose, 3238 Lincoln Way East in Massillon, Ohio, 44646. Would you like to see your commercial aired on both RCW Spotlight and RCW Global? Contact us on social media at facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling, Instagram at Rubber City Wrestling, or email us at the RCW Network at gmail.com.
Welcome back, everybody. Pro Wrestling Weekly, the 25th anniversary special. I'm the champ, John Potok, alongside your role model, Rick Lieb, and the boss's son, Bo Smyrno. And kind of carrying over from where we were just were, we're getting ready to hear. Bo, everything good with you? I mean, how's oh, everything yeah. going? Everything's going pretty good, you know. Um, got married for a second time. You know, I got engaged on the show the first time, if you guys remember. I do remember that. But, you know, sometimes things don't work out, so, you know, I've, I've moved on and... Found um, me another true love, and now we've got four grandkids together already. So I'm a grandfather, and uh, uh, other than that, we've uh, we're founders of a travel company uh, and, and an app and a travel agency and things like that, and working on some other things in the world of crypto. And that's really keeps me busy these days. You're the man. You're the man. Uh, which crypto are you into? All of them. All of them. Bitcoin. The having's coming, guys. <laughs> oh, I wish we, we would have got to Bitcoin, man. We, <laughs> we do a lot late. of cri- we do a lot of crypto as well, but we, I, no. See, I was Bitcoin. in I was in it also. A little bit of Bitcoin, but I, I leaned more towards that. What is it? Dogecoin. Dogecoin. Yeah, boy, you want to talk Doge. about taking a bath? Woo! Yes, sir. It, see that? Yeah, exactly. You know, um, we actually ended up doing the Shiba Inu. Yeah. And damn it, that better go up. <laughs> it's right. We're all going to go up I'm in a few weeks. Out. Just well, well I hope so. Anyway, I've been doing great as well. You know, I, I still, back then I had my trucking company. I still have that trucking company. Um, I've since then also branched off and had some other companies, um, staffing agency. Uh, yeah, we just we had the opened up a store. Side. Yeah, we just opened up a store in, at the Hartville Flea Market. So we're getting ready to do all kinds of appliance and pallet sale stuff out of there. So Beautiful. yeah, it's been, it's been a, a great ride. I obviously I'm with, the, I have two kids. I'm with the same woman. We got. A grandbaby on. I'm going to be a grandpa. How long have you and Heather been together? Um, almost thirty years. Thirty years. She's a long saint. Time. She has put up with a lot. <laughs> 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 but Smyrna, you know, we all can't just go and get married every other day. You know. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got the marrying man over here. Yeah. I don't know. Like he changes hoes like he changes you, clothes. Oh, <laughs> he said he changes hoes like he changes clothes. You know, the last time we did the show, I was able to put my socks on without falling over. <laughs> oh, there we go. Well, so what else has been up with you, Rick? Well, uh, as you mentioned earlier, you know, like with the heart surgery and stuff like that, obviously, you know, that sucked. It was supposed to be a quadruple bypass. Well, let, let, me, let me interrupt bad. you. What? Why keep wrestling? Um, actually, the doctor told me or the surgeon he said wrestling if it wasn't for me being in wrestling shape i would have been dead like mm. months ago he said that the wrestling because my body was so used to being abused it was actually repairing itself thank god for and, prison and, right so <laughs> what'd you say prison <laughs> that was too soon for that joke yeah, all right soon, go ahead right. uh so <laughs> I stumped the role model? No, you definitely Whoa. didn't. I think did you, it took 25 right, years. I'm right in the, it did take 25 it, it years. It, it took 25 got years. I got him. So Finally. But yeah, I am. I'm still wrestling. And right now, I'm currently with Rubber City Wrestling. And uh, I'm, you know, doing good there. I'm still in the chase right now. You know, I'm a two-time, former two-time World Heavyweight Champion there and a television champion there. But, you know, the, the goal is get the gold back on my waist. You know, that's where the money is. And, you know, one of the things that, you know, our slogan is real professional wrestling, not that flippy stuff. And it's because, you know, we still go in there and we actually wrestle. It's not them spot fest that you're going to watch like at WrestleMania. Uh, you're going to actually see wrestling matches, which is why it, it's, in my opinion, more entertaining. It's basically what you would see back in the old Armory days. You know, that's oh, kind of the old Akron Armory wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. It's Bobo. like, you know, yeah, Bobo Brazil and, you know, Johnny Powers and yeah. stuff like that. You know, I was mentored by the destroyer for a while there, and he was he was actually, you know, telling me basically how to get more professional in I my career. I seem to be pretty busy with all that. Uh, it's called oh, the yeah, Cauliflower Alley Club. Club. Yeah, I'm a member. I'm I'm actually a lifetime member of the Cauliflower Alley Club, and in the Cauliflower Alley Club, you know, you get to basically rub shoulders with guys that you've been watching your whole entire life. You know, and you know, first guy come up to me, Harley Race. Oh, he wow. just had That's knee surgery. So awesome. Right. He just had knee surgery, right? And he comes up. Me and Chaz Taylor are sitting down. That was ha- a true legend. <clears throat> Harley comes right up and he goes, How you guys doing? And I'm like, uh, I'm good. How are you? And he's like, points to the uh the hover round that he's on. And I'm like, boss, if there's anybody that deserves that easy ride, it's you. And he goes, That I do. 
And I'm like, all right. He goes, you know, it, it sucked a little bit, but then he, he left and I looked over at Chaz and I'm like, that was Harley freaking race, man. Right. <laughs> like, and he's always ever, he's always been the tough guy in the locker room. He's always been the most respected right. guy. I mean, yeah. Hard, you know, that, like, what an honor that was. You know, like speaking of tough guys, like Haku. Yeah. You know, another one. I mean, like that dude is a trip. He's one of the funniest guys you'll ever talk to. Um, the Rock's mom goes there, you know, um, she photobombed us and then come up and she's like, hey, did you ever get that picture printed? Because I'd like to hang it up in my house. I'm like, no, but next year I will have it for you. And of course, right. next year I had, she come right up to me. Did you get the picture? And I'm like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> you know, I can like, only, I can only get a five by seven, but. <laughs> oh, no, no. She got an eight by 10. She got an eight by 10 for sure. Did the role model sign it? Damn right, I signed it. You so know, the rock. I wanted to be got worth the rock something. and the role model in the same house. That's Whoa. right. Woo. That's right, man. And I'll t- no, but Atta Maivea Johnson, uh, sweetheart, just a, an awesome yeah, that's person. Pretty awesome. You know, and and like the fact that I've gotten to you know sit there and talk to people like Lance Russell. Holy crap, this is the best one. Old Lance announcer. Russell, listen, Lance Russell come up and he's like, and I'm like, oh my gosh. I go, dude, <laughs> I swear to you. I go, I usually don't like get like this the most, I go, now I know why they call it the nostalgia room. I go, because I am literally listening to my childhood right now. It was the, it was probably the most incredible thing to sit there and just have a conversation with Lance freaking Russell, who like literally commentated half the stuff I was watching. You know what I'm saying? It's like, the only thing is I wish I could have met Gordon Sully. You know, that would have been really cool. Um, Rick, I think you and I were probably the only two people watching Mid Southern on Channel 21 oh on gosh, Sunday night. No, that's Russell. not true. I, uh, we used to watch yeah. it with an antenna. Yeah. Oh, my Black yes. and white the, little TV. The rotor tenor at my aunt's house <laughs> yeah. made it a perfectly clear picture. I had, I had, we had two antennas on our roof, and one of them went to my TV because, you know, I, I, I bought my own stuff when I was living at, at home still when I was a kid. Yeah. And I worked. I worked since I was 14. And I, uh, literally had that one facing Youngstown, Ohio, just so that I can get channels 21 and 27, 27 had the Steeler games, 21 had the, uh, had, had the, the wrestling, you know, so I got to watch the sheep herders and I got to watch, right. was know, it on a little black and white? Like, uh, at first it black, was. It's funny. Cause yeah. a lot of people don't even know what black and white TVs sure are. Was. I say that in front of my kids and they're like, what the hell's a black and white TV? Right. Like, there used to be TVs with no color. It actually, it actually was, you know, at first on a black and white, and then I got a color TV, and you know, but yeah, it was always on there. And honestly, I, it, I end up going back to the black and white because you can see it clearer on the black and white TV because, you know, with the color TV, had all that, it was still far away, so you know, it was hard to get in from Akron. So yeah, I mean, so speaking of work, and you still with Taco Bell? <laughs> Taco you're gonna, Bell. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna get something started there, Smyrno. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give me one of those churros. All I know is you well, should have brought donuts. Well, I hope he's a manager by now. Hey, if you're going to talk trash, you should have brought donuts. Yeah. You know oh. what I'm <laughs> I, I was expecting a oh. dozen donuts here. I, was, I thought we were going to eat some donuts on the air. All right. You know, so. Rick, you're not a cop. What's that? If you're not a cop. Why would you want donuts? Uh, because he freaking basically runs <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> you know, if you're going hey, you know, I'm not even knocking it. You got a high position over there. I just love donuts. That's probably another reason why I had the heart surgery. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that was one of the first things they told me I need to quit. I'm like, are you kidding? They're like, how many donuts do you usually eat on a sit-down? I'm like, first of all, how bad is that? Did the doctor ask you how many donuts you eat? Well, I said just a dozen. And they're like, wait a minute, you eat the whole dozen? I'm like, well, is that true? Yeah, 100% true. You eat uh, a dozen look donuts. O- look over there at the wife and, and ask her. You can eat a dozen donuts? I can That's eat a disgusting. dozen donuts, especially Krispy Kremes. Oh, my goodness. Those things have crack in them or something, man. I'm well, why the hell would you want to eat that many donuts? Uh, once you start, you just can't stop, John. Those things are delicious. So, yeah, basically I had to uh, – I had to. Um, well, on that eat. note, we should probably go pay some more bills because <laughs> right. now, you know, you just gave Duncan and Krispy Kreme all kinds of free sponsorship. We're going to go take a commercial break, and when we come back, we're actually going to cover a little bit of news, compliments of the boss's son, Bo Smyrna, and we're going to chat a little bit about what's going on in the world of professional wrestling. and Including WrestleMania results. Including WrestleMania results. All that and more when we get back on Pro Wrestling Weekly. Do you enjoy indie flicks and B-movies? Maybe have a script in mind and want to be showcased? Well, the same company that gave you Footsteps and Night Z... Guru Films is looking for more ideas. Contact us at thegurufilms1 at gmail.com or through the Guru Films Facebook page. So be sure to follow us on Facebook at 
facebook.com forward slash guru films dot 420 to purchase DVDs and for updates on new films coming soon. Welcome back, everybody. Pro Wrestling Weekly, the 25th anniversary show, and man, has it been a ride. It sounds like we've all had a great time. I'm the champ, John Potok, alongside your role model, Rick Lieb, and the boss's son, Bo Smyrna. I think they know who we are by now. Well, I know, but, you know, they might they might forget about you a little bit. You know? yeah, yeah, I haven't been in the light lately. Yeah. I've been like, I've, I've stared away for a while. By the way, I, you know, a couple of things I was just thinking about during the break is two things, first of all. What's... Put these shot glasses up okay. here. The shot glasses are actually for the last segment. And, you know, I got a surprise for you. It's kind of like a... Um, you So you did this? Yeah, yeah. That That's for me. So just bear with me. Trust me. You'll like it. You know, lot. and with this here also, the other thing I was thinking about too is, you know, now that we're actually back on here and we're kind of talking about old times and stuff, you know, something that just kicked in my head that was really weird. What? You know, we used to take a lot of calls and stuff. Yeah, I remember. And uh, remember the girl that used to be call in go, <laughs> <laughs> I thought for sure you're going to ask about the hey role model guy, but oh, that okay. was my next one. But go ahead. <laughs> All right, with the Giggle Girl. Yeah, I married her. I literally remember when I on the air and I said, "Hey, you Did sound." You know cute. This? I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah. I said, "I said, hey, you sound cute." Um, email me. So we ended up becoming friends, and then when I ended up getting divorced friends. from my first wife, uh, me and her. Well, actually, it, it wasn't even that. Like me and her, I say we like we were friend zoning each other because we didn't want to ruin the friendship but then after a couple months it just got like you know so what now you just ruined the we marriage get, <laughs> we, we get along really good we should we should we should probably make this more than just friendship and we did and and 20 what 23 years later uh there 23 years later in wow. just a couple weeks it'll it'll uh don't you got like 18 kids or something like that um i have four ki- four sons with her and i have my first son and i had custody of him throughout everything you know, you remember the when uh, it's like the Von Black Eric's Jack, over there. That's why you wanted to do this again because you said back child support is really getting it's getting no. hard, man. No, actually, I, no. Ironically, um, I, I've never had to pay any child support no. because I've never lost any children. Oh. Um, oh. Now, now, but I, I, I never did go after uh, my oldest son's mom for child support, and she's lucky for that one. Yeah. Uh, Jesus, man, you're really getting rid of this. Hey. <laughs> I'm bringing up bad oh, no, memories no, no, over no. here, Bo. Oh, no, 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 great yeah. memories. I, I, I have my son. I mean, like, I literally got all my sons. So, but yeah, I mean, she's a, a wonderful uh, person, and, and, and yes, well, that's awesome. I have five amazing sons. I didn't sons. know it was Missy, but. Yeah, Missy is the Giggle Girl. I didn't know that. <laughs> so, well, now you do. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's because her name on the show was Giggle Girl. Right, uh, so, right, and we and, said and we I would still, laugh all the time. And when we, when we cut to a commercial, I didn't know behind the scenes Rick was stalking her, and, you know, whatever. But right, that's cool. Whatever. I can't, I can't, I can't help it. Uh, hey, she's nine years younger than me. Trophy wife. I mean, come on, think about it. So yeah, she's nine years younger than you. Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> My wife's younger than that. No, no she's not. not. <laughs> I know your wife. <laughs> Same school. Okay. Anyway, we so, promised some news. We're going to get some news. Well, the hey, role model guy real quick. Oh, yeah. What about him? Um, I have a friend who actually knew him, and apparently he passed away like quite some oh, time Oh, for ago, real? So, yeah. So RIP, role model guy. Guess you won't be calling you me. Know, guy goes, hey, role model. <laughs> hey, role model. Yeah, hell the, the hell the hell the are guy, you? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he's, you know oh. what? Here's the funny thing about it. As much as he used to talk trash to me and stuff, I, I thought that was funny. I mean, I, it wasn't like I wasn't going to match wits with him, you know, but he was actually pretty, pretty witty. So I'll give him credit. Shout out to the Hey Roll Model guy. Yeah. Rest in peace. Right. Definitely. All right. Well, Mr. Smyrno, let's hear some news. Well, let's talk about a little bit of WrestleMania. Just took place in Philadelphia. Uh, Rhea Ripley retained the women's title over Becky Lynch. Becky is going to be taking some time off. Uh, not surprising. Uh, the undisputed uh, tag team championship took place in six man ladder match. We had two new champions crowned. R Truth and Miz took uh, took one of the titles, and then um, it was Theory and Waller took the others. 
And you guys know what I have in common with uh, Truth and Miz? Truth and I are the same age, and Rick, 52, and Miz and I share a birthday, October 8th. Now wow. they're tag team champions. Uh, and then we had... And Miz is from Ohio. Yeah, and he's from Parma, and my, I used to have neighbors in Stowe that yeah. went to school He actually went yeah. to school. Remember uh, Shane Taylor that uh, yeah. wrestled? He was my tag team partner one time, yeah. and now he's in AEW, by yeah. the way. Yeah, I've seen that. Um, he, uh, he actually went to school in Parma as well. Yeah. Oh. Pretty cool. Definitely. And then we had... Go ahead. Real quick, you were talking about um, uh, our truth. Yeah. Do you realize how many years our truth been in WWE? Long time. That's the first time he's won in WrestleMania. Yes, he was on seven. Oh going in. wow! And I, that's well, that's what I said when I heard. I'm like, no, that can't be true. And then they're like, go look back and all. So I look back at all the stats. I'm like, this man never won. He, in my opinion, one of the best talents, by far one of the funniest guys you could put on the screen, and he could wrestle. You know, Ron Killings can wrestle. He was a former NWA world champion. And he's and, still doing, like, he's doing commercials and everything now. He's, oh, he, gosh. He, might, he might be getting his break finally. In my, my opinion, he's the most entertaining guy on the roster by far. Well, no, I wouldn't far. go that far. I would definitely go that far. And then we had a father versus son for the second year in a row where Mysterio fought Mysterio. They uh, had Andrade with Ray, and they defeated Escobar and Dominic. Then we had brother versus brother. Jay Uso defeated Jimmy Uso. I didn't care for this match, guys. A lot of I didn't care for kids. either one of those two matches. Yeah. I didn't care um, for a lot of the matches on there, yeah. I'll be honest with you. And then Gunther held the Intercontinental title for 666 days, it's and they lost it to Sami Zayn. Um, nothing shocking You lost it on there. 666? Exactly. Uh-oh. Yeah. And then we had the main event for night one. Rock and Roman Reigns defeated Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. That wasn't too surprising. They kind of set it up. Pretty obvious ending there. We also had a women's match. Naomi, Bianca Blair, and Jade Cargill beat all the Japanese talented women there. And then we went into night two. Opened up with a world heavyweight title where you know Seth what? Rollins. I hate to cut you off, man. This doesn't seem right. I'm wearing yeah. this uh, on PWW. Rick, you stop just... a news thing because of. Oh, yeah, yeah, because we're doing the news and stuff. I need my me? old role model shirt from like back when I was on. That thing used PWW. to be white. Yeah. <laughs> oh um, so did uh -oh. that. <laughs> Tell your wife to stop mixing the laundry. Oh, oh, oh my God. Can I go on now? He said, so did this. You keep on jabbing me, little man. <laughs> You know, Seth Rollins. Hey, hey, buy the shirt. Yeah, buy the shirt. Uh, buy the shirt. Uh, Seth Rollins uh, <laughs> lost the heavyweight championship to Drew McIntyre, but then Drew McIntyre attacked CM Punk, for which it cost him because Damian Priest cashed in the money in the bank and won the championship from Drew McIntyre, held the belt for less than six minutes, champ. You know, I don't know. I just can't get into that angle. The whole, I don't know. Aren't they saying now, too, like, Behind the scenes, doesn't Drew McIntyre have something mentally going on or something like that? They're saying now. I'm not sure. He might that. have been molested by Vince. No. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Rick, you can't Too say soon? that on TV. Oh, my bad. Uh, he might have been sexually assaulted no. by Vince. Uh, you better say allegedly, or you might not allegedly get a ever again. When you allegedly, <laughs> just like when people accuse me of cheating, oh, it allegedly my happened. God. Uh, oh my god just for the record the role models views and opinions do not stand for me or the boss's son especially both the boss's ironically son. Yeah. it took this long for you guys to finally have to say that so That's, i've been doing pretty uh, good well you were being pretty good until yeah and of course it has to be All about right. molestation whoops i did it again i better move on go ahead yeah. on. logan Quickly. paul re logan paul retained the united states championship in the three reverses the veteran randy orton and kevin owens then we had L.A. Knight defeat A.J. Styles. I thought these two matches were really good. I actually yeah, thought Knight and Styles was real yeah, good. A.J. Styles and uh, L.A. Knight, a.k.a. Eli oh, the Drake. Match was really that was the was really good, too. That was really good. I think Kevin was a little bit out of his yeah, element. Yeah, Kev Kevin Owens still dressing like a fan doesn't really do it. Yeah, I mean, he was a little yeah. bit out of his element. Any, though, any, any guy that has to wrestle with a shirt on needs to not wrestle. That's called backyard wrestling. <laughs> oh my God. If you're too fat, if you're too fat and you're too embarrassed to your body, there's this neat little invention called a gym. All right. On uh, that note, Bailey captured the women's championship of EO Sky. Go ahead. Uh, well, I was going to say, there's a lot of people that wrestle with shirts on now, Rick. I know. They're called yard tards. That's why uh, I. Even in WWE? Way, and it's called Wrestlers Against Yard Tards. Yeah, no. WWE has. Hold on, whoa, whoa. First of all, did you watch? Did wait you minute, watch? Wait a minute. Did you just say. What's the way it stands for? The way stands for wrestlers against yard tards. And we are not a 
We are not a faction. We are a movement. And it is time that we get rid of Hey, if I go to a WWE event, you better damn well believe someone's getting yard how many, uh How many people are in the way? Uh, right now, it's got, you've got Animal Managing Us. You got myself, you got American Strong Style John Rossiter, and of course you've got, you know, wrestling's finest Harley T. Morris. So four. And um, you know, I mean, I don't know what's going on with Matt Motor. You know, you better he, watch out with only four of you going in. You might get. Oh no no you no! Might get swimming. We've chance. got we've got plans. We've been we've been doing some scouting. That's how come we've been rebuilding. Oh. So let me get this straight. You're against your charge now. I'm against him 100%. Wasn't he like the original yard tar? No, no, no. <laughs> in our yards? No, no, no. <laughs> yes, he was. Listen, listen, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You were the yard tar, and I've got the pr- video proof to prove it. Famous. Um, matter of fact, Dan Mason just shared a video on his LinkedIn <laughs> of you guys wrestling in your street clothes looking like a bunch of fans in the ring. Well, hold on. Which Rick is exactly what it that. was. He did say if you wrestle with a shirt on, and both of you had a shirt on. It looked so like Rick, a Starsky Hutch shirt on. Rick, were they both yard tars then? Huh? Would yeah. they both be? Was that a yard tard match of the year? Well, well, Dan was technically was a, a manager time. that got in the ring, so we can't call <laughs> Dan a yard tard. Dan was incredible. Oh you were still an active wrestler. I was not president or not. You were an active wrestler. For years. Yeah, and you should have stayed there because yeah. I saw the match. Oh my! God. Um, and so, yeah, there he goes. It was just a matter of time for the all role I model say, came back out. All I gotta say is the yard tartary was real with that. And by the way, speaking of yard tartary, <laughs> yeah. did you see the Seth Rollins versus, or, or should I call him the woman since his wife's name is the man? Yeah. Um, versus uh, Drew McIntyre match. That was nothing but a backyard like wrestling match. Yeah. <laughs> it was literally finisher, well, just finisher, like your old days. Finisher, Rick pay finisher, to the, finisher. To your news. Oh, that's because I've I've already learned to tone him out. Oh. Finisher, finisher, <laughs> finisher, finisher, finisher. Hey, speaking of which, uh, when he was talking about his career over there, okay, what, yeah, we got to like fifty two years old, not putting people over yet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what are you talking about, not putting people over? Oh my God! First of all, God. you know real going for the gold. Is? Yeah. Hey, Bo, come to, come passing, back, come back. Passing the torch. I'll take the little shoestring arm. Of yours, yeah. and I'll, uh, I'll break them into pieces. Talk more rust than Looking like pretzels over All here. All right, well, let's take a commercial. You calm down, Lieb. You're getting a little out of hand. You're going to get us kicked off the internet. So, anyway, we're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, we're going to do some more news, and we're going to try to, in the meantime, calm Rick down a little bit. Easy, big fella over Rick, there. Take you won't it shut easy. the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> TNT Health, unmasking your potential. So, you want to look like the headline, Vinny DiMaggio? Here's your chance. Let's not be ridiculous. Nobody can look like Vinny. But if you need that energy before your workout, or you want to lose some weight, burn some fat, we got that. You want to build some lean muscle? You can get it at TNT. Or even if you just need the essentials, BCAAs, juiced up, we're here at TNT Health, we carry it all. Come visit us at TNTHealth.com. Hey guys, congratulations on 25 years. Quick question. Whatever happened to Santa Claus? Again, congratulations on 25 years of PWW. Welcome back, everybody, to Pro Wrestling Weekly, the 25th anniversary. And, man, this show has been on fire so far. I'm Come the champ, fire. John Potok, your role model, Rick Lieb, and the boss of Sun, Bo Smyrno. We were going through WrestleMania results. We did calm down your role model, so that was Why did you think thing. I needed to calm down? He was the one that's taking jabs at me. Um, I was just, by the way... The Santa video, that's the old oh, yeah. camera director. The, the camera yeah, guy, uh, Mark director, Russo. Mark. Yeah, Mark. Yeah. Well, I wonder how he's doing that. For nowadays. those wondering, he was the Santa. And so, to answer your question, I believe the Santa became a judge in Ooh. Texas. Uh, he moved around to Texas. Yeah. Remember, he, he used to. So he got a law degree and this, became a real judge? Are we talking in the real hills ju- or A real judge. Wow. Wow. Like, he, he's the man down there. But let me. Let, this is a guy. Judge and here's how, here's how impressed we, I, I am with him, at least. This is a guy who was working at the cat, so you knew he wasn't making that much money, you know. Oh uh, and I don't care if the cat gets mad at me for saying it. I mean, they didn't pay. They, I don't even think they're around anymore, but go uh, ahead, yeah, Rick. If they are. <laughs> anyway, so this is a guy that was working there, so you know he wasn't making much. Probably, what, like five and a quarter or something an hour, you know. Saved up all his well, money. Don't hold back get... any insults on every single buddy from our past, but go I mean, ahead. Listen, you guys call it insults. I call it just speaking the truth. Um, he's, he lived... Remember, he lived in his car. <laughs> he, just, he, just, 
<laughs> no, I don't care what he said. He he literally oh bought my God. he bought the PT Cruiser when the first year they came out. I do car. remember that. And he yeah. lived in that car because he that was what he well, was. Well, I'm sure he doesn't car. want you telling that story. No, 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 no. I'm telling it because he went from that kid in school doing that to a very successful judge down in Texas. I'm impressed with him. He's he's actually that is pretty done very well. Actually. You know, that so I'm very impressed. You know that that talk about rags to riches. That man did it. You know, so I. I I think we owe him one on that one. But Absolutely. Santa, Good job, Mark. Santa Claus. But Santa, Santa, as far as Santa Claus is concerned, he is no longer breaking into houses. Now they got uh. some phony one. Now parents <laughs> have to do it. No more B&E for Santa Claus. Yes, thank your role model later. I took care of that problem. Speaking of Santa Claus, I come bearing gifts today, guys. Oh. I can only imagine what this is going to be. Is this a gag gift or a real gift? Rick, because Rick love Leave this. loves free stuff. Rick, you're going to love this. For you, I got a Ric Flair. Oh, there you figure. go, Rick. Actually, I do love it. And for John, I got some bum wrestlers. And I see you Thumpers. bought it. I, I see you spared no expense. I no, gave you I, no, what no, you meant for match. Actually, I, I, I'll Rick, say when this. You, when your mom gives you Christmas gifts, do you say, Mom, how much did you just spend? It's a thought that counts. No, I say, Mom, how much did you spend? I want to make sure I got more than the other oh, kids. Oh, for real? Didn't you? No. <laughs> Wait, oh, my God. You probably really did. I was that literally out there. Your poor mom? I, I was like this. I was like, okay, this. I'm going to price check it. It cost this. I did all the to oh, totaling up for all seven. Of I'm, I'm second to seven, so it took a while. And then I did all the totaling up, and I'm like. Just for the record, what happened if somebody got more than you? Oh, then mom had to go and buy me something else. What happened? Like, if she didn't have the time or, or the money at the moment. Listen, I know a bunch of chokeholds and stuff. <laughs> oh, my I, God. I, hey, you know, I, I'm just saying. Wow. wow. Well, thanks. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. I'm joking, mom. Yeah, I'm you joking. Know you, he, he knows he's coming home to a beating. Yeah. I don't live with my mom, you moron. <laughs> she's got to break something over your back, a, a broom or something. Hey, yeah. look, just because Bo finally got out of the basement doesn't mean that the rest of us <laughs> did. I've been out so long. All right, oh, back to man. WrestleMania. Yeah, let's get back to WrestleMania for Bo let's getting there before up. Rick gets um, all heated again. We had the Street Profits and Bobby Lashley defeat the, the Final Testament. And by the way, champ, are you as surprised as Paul Ellering is in the WWE managing? Um, I am surprised, especially because His daughter. he was always known for the Road Warriors or the Legion of Doom. Yeah. And now... Yeah, it, it, I am surprised. I'll tell you what caught me off guard about it is he has a daughter that's wrestling right now. And she's fantastic. And why isn't he managing her? Interesting. That is a good point. <laughs> All right. In the main event, we had Cody Rhodes defeat Roman Reigns for the Undisputed Championship. We had, this is very predictable. Um, it was easy to know that John Cena was going to be involved. Um, I don't know if I would Rock. believe that. You, you knew John no, Cena? No, I did not know John yeah, Cena. I didn't know that I did. One. Actually, I did predict that. The whole show was predictable. I didn't why why would you say John Cena on that? Well, because I found out he was coming. And then uh, we all well, knew. okay. That's no, the Undertaker. No, I'm not guessing then, Bo. Okay. Oh, let me put it to you this way. When they knew Roman was going to drop the belt, I knew they were going to bring in outside help because they set it up the night before that uh, they can do whatever they want to beat up Cody Rhodes. So yeah. what do you think Cody's going to do? He's got his friends from the past come in. Cody, I mean, John Cena was there. Obviously, now the Undertaker made an appearance. But guess what? That, that was, was supposed, supposed to be Stone to, Cold. Yeah. Yeah. Stone Cold was going to take that spot. He's a little too busy with his A&E reality show. Couldn't make the commitment. That's what they say. So the Undertaker definitely took the spot. I thought it was great. The Rock was great for the I, whole thing. I thought the Rock was great through the whole thing, too. And I also thought it was perfect for undertaker who is a wrestlemania legend to be a part of that you have to have him now I, I get it stone cold is as well but i do think you know things do work out for the better and i do think it was way better with the undertaker i think the crowd got way more pumped with that one you think that the undertaker who's been there not that long ago was more would have i mean like if that glass would have shattered, you. that entire crowd. I'm not saying I wouldn't up. use Stone Cold. I don't think I would have used him in that particular. I would have used him for something else. I wouldn't have did it with with that match. The way they did, the way that ended up, or the way that turned out, to me was the best way possible. Can Can I break away from this for a minute and ask yes. you guys? Did you guys see the the follow up Raw? No. Okay. I did. You did. Yeah. Did the the Rock and Cody Rhodes? Was that the creepiest? promo you've ever seen in your life well here's the thing i think they're they're truly trying to play it off like there's legit real heat even though their families are both icons in the business and they've known each other for years 
They're trying a little too hard, I think. What do you think the fake object that he handed him, because you know it was nothing in his hand, what do you think the fake object was that he handed him is going to end up The torch, is, I think he was basically saying I'm passing the torch. I think it was a watch. No, there was nothing a in watch? his hand. Yes, there was something about a watch. I about have it on stuff. good authority that it's a role model figure. <laughs> and like these guys had fought over it back when they were, uh, you know, years ago. And finally, The Rock's like, look, I got me a new one. I'm giving you yours back. And so for that, I'll autograph it for you guys well, later. The last news about WrestleMania and The Rock is that there is no date for The Rock's next match yet. We hope leading into this event will be SummerSlam. Why? Cleveland, Ohio, hosting at the Cleveland Browns Stadium. Summer will be slam. interesting. First, we'll be oh, interesting. I won't be going First to that weekend, then, obviously. In, in August, obviously. You couldn't pay me to sit in an orange seat. <laughs> you guys think they can sell WrestleMania? It's a big stadium for a oh, yeah. non-WrestleMania. So you mean event. SummerSlam? Yeah, Summer, I don't SummerSlam, know. maybe not. WrestleMania, yes. No, it's not a WrestleMania, so I know I'm you, wondering. That's what, yeah, Sometimes I don't, they didn't even sell out the gun or whatever you call it. Yeah, Rocket, Rocket Field. All that. Yeah. I'm going to say they're going to have to bring a lot of magic. Um Rock, maybe some other celebrities, something to. They better bring some angles. Yeah, I don't. If they're going to try to ride Cody versus, you know. Now, when you Rock say some angles, Roman you Reigns. mean Kurt and his brother, right? Mm. What do you. <laughs> Just messing with you. I, I got dad jokes for days. Well, sorry. Oh, there we go. So that wraps up WrestleMania. The only other big WWE news is they've let go their head of uh, the executive of talent <laughs> relations. Didn't Jim Ross used to have that job back in our day? Yeah, way back you know, then. Yeah. So the guy who basically was head of recruiting or prospecting, they let him go. And um, Ronda Rousey's been in the news. She came out was pretty well, vocal about Vince trashing McMahon. Vince McMahon. Yeah, saying nah, she's seen some yeah. stuff. And yeah, she's also come out and said that she thinks she's got. Like dementia and Alzheimer's already from headshots. It's Alzheimer's. There's no T oh, in it. Okay. Huh? <laughs> no, I'm just. I'm not. I'm not being a. Why do you always gotta laugh? And then you make <laughs> it seem funny. like you it's make it funny. seem like I'm making. What do you fun want me to do? I, I can't was help that I'm laughing, Lieb. I, I I'm like trying to help somebody out here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good lord. <laughs> I can't help that I'm I, laughing. What everything I say is in a pop shot. Please no. understand this. Sometimes Did I say I'm actually, it was? I'm genuinely <laughs> Did trying I to say help it was. Yeah, you laughed like you thought it was. I'm no, just I'm just laughing because you're making me laugh with your funny face. Here's another thing. We talked about trademarking this week. We've talked about oh, some gosh, of the stuff yeah. taken from I us. I trademark everything. Chris Jericho is actually trademarking three new names. The Educator, the Rarified Heir of Jericho, and the Learning Tree. All getting trademarked by Jericho on I'm pretty AEW. sure the Learning Tree is already... Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, I, he, I've heard you said that. I thought that too. On. I mean, maybe not in wrestling. And, and when you do trademarks, somebody's been trademarking a lot of things. Um, you do have to have like... You, you, it's basically no one can use it in your category. And so for wrestling, I don't think there's ever been a Learning Tree. But I do believe that like there are... And, and the Educator... Yeah. I mean, wasn't there a movie called that or something like that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I stay away from anything that has to do with education. So as I was <laughs> doing wrestling right research, <laughs> as I was doing some wrestling research, I came across a story which I thought was so funny. I wanted all of us to take part in it. So I'm going to start it. It involves what the mean, legend. take part in it? Andre the Giant. What do you mean so, take part in it? Read. Uh, Wait a minute. What? what? I want you to read. On the air? I'm going to do a paragraph. You do one. You do one. Hold on. And we'll do it. Is that what sure you, you want Rick to read a whole paragraph? Yeah, He's no, good at like, reading. Hooked on phonics, man. <laughs> All right, so this is a story the, about Andre uh, the Giant. Um, it's, it's the story is made of night. What order are we supposed to read? It? I'm gonna go first. John, second, you third. This oh, is on par with. I know way to call that out, Bo. This is gonna be on par with a Freddy Krueger chasing one in a dream with Bloody. evil clowns. So Andre the Giant had one of the scariest imaginable things happen in history in the ring at seven foot five hundred pounds. Some argue that one can hardly imagine the kind of mess that Andre is capable of. However, in a match in Mexico in 92, Andre against one opponent, bad news, Allen, bad news, Brown, unfortunately didn't have to imagine anything. John. Bam, bam, Bigelow, who teamed with Andre several times earlier on the tour, detailed a day of drinking with Andre, who was also known as a legendary drinker. You can skip those names. Yeah, I, I can't. Fact. Yeah. They're all, <clears throat> Crazy names. But anyway, a bunch of guys. According to Bigelow, he drinking? Andre drank a mixture of, how, how do you say that one? Clamato? Clamata. Clamato. Clamidia. And, <laughs> <Mexican, laughs> and Mexican tequila, basically, all day. Oh, God. As appealing as that sounds, it probably wasn't the best pregame performance concoction. He gets in the ring, Bigelow says. They're doing something where Alan apparently took a bump. Andre grabs the ropes. 
to do a sitting spot from the corner. And as he sits on top of bad news, he shits all over him. Diarrhea, tequila, juice, Hershey squirts. Ru- this is not true. Is this true? This is a true Running story. I've heard this story. Running down his neck. Listen, I've heard this story. It's a true story. He, he shit on somebody? What happened hey, he, on Rick? Um, it says, naturally, bad news wanted out of there, screaming, get the F off of me, as per Bigelow, um, but was not able to do anything about the behemoth now resting on his chest. And every time Andre went to get up, he basically defecated on him more. Uh, Bigelow added, calling the incident the nastiest, grossest, funniest thing you'll ever wanted to see. As we said, the stuff of nightmares, and let's just leave it at that. Now, one um, backstory on this, because I've heard many stories about it. Andre was laughing the entire time because, in Andre's opinion, that was funny. Even though he was doo-dooing all over the dude. He was <laughs> doo-dooing all over the dude. He thought it was funny. Hey, I'm trying to clean it up over here. Hey, that was bad news. Yeah. I get, you know what? I'm going to give you credit on that one. It really was bad news for oh. Alan that day. So hey, we go bad. from WrestleMania news hey. to... You're Did taking a dump. Trademarks wait. to somebody shits on somebody? Real quick. That's why he went from going bad news Allen to bad news Brown. Yeah. <laughs> no, jeez. Oh, That's a dad joke right there. Yeah, hey. we, got, we definitely got to take a commercial break after Please this. Do. Where in the hell are you pulling these stories from? We'll Your be back after this. Do you enjoy indie flicks and B-movies? Maybe have a script in mind and want to be showcased? Well, the same company that gave you footsteps and Night Z, Guru Films, is looking for more ideas. Contact us at thegurufilms1 at gmail.com or through the Guru Films Facebook page. So be sure to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash gurufilms.420 to purchase DVDs and for updates on new films coming soon. Hey guys, I just wanted to come on here and wish you a happy 25th anniversary. It's crazy to think that it's been 25 years. You know what's even crazier though? When I stop and think, wasn't Rick Lieb already really, really old? Are you not in a retirement home by now? (laughs) But no, on a serious note, happy anniversary guys. Um, But we're missing something though today. And the anniversary wouldn't be the same without him and that's Keith so I have a question for you guys what is your favorite memory with Keith Young my favorite memory with him (laughs) it it's a hilarious one it was during the time when Rick was not with the show which if you ask me was a better time and um I call in and as always he's always giving me a tough time and heckling me and this time is no different He's heckling me. He's making crude gestures with his hands. And all of a sudden, the camera cuts to to John. And John says, what the? And drops an F-bomb live on TV. And then the show has to turn off for a few minutes. Uh, Up until even last year, anytime I saw Keith, we always laughed about that moment. So I just wanted to share that and congratulate you guys. And... One last time, pull it out of retirement. Rick Lieb, the show was better without you. Again, happy anniversary, guys. Bye. Welcome back. Shut up, bitch. Jesus, I can't even finish the thing. Oh, no. I, how is that it was okay? a great video. You didn't even let how, me to do the introduction. How is it okay for Keith Young to, to, to talk smack to her? Oh, but that's funny stuff when Keith does it. But when, when I do it, then all of a sudden I'm, you know, the you show's better without me. You can't a little me. bit of slack. First of all, this what show did she say without that was me? Uh, no, that's not true, Rick. So I, when I'm on the show, ratings skyrocket. When you got, <laughs> when without me, you, people are like, oh, just flicking through the channel. Or, or back in them days, probably. But you know what I'm saying. Those are great sound effects, too, by the Thank way. Thank you, man. I really practiced those. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, no, no, I, I just, that, that was rude. Well, I mean, uh. she came to many shows. Um, actually, she ended up being, becoming a wrestler herself. And then, didn't she, she married a wrestler. So oh. when I called her a future ring rat, I was right. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Maybe I'm Nostradamus Jr. Who oh. knows? Oh, Even though boy. he wasn't wow. right about that. Thank you, Nikki. We appreciate, yeah, we appreciate yeah. you, Nikki, and thank you for that. Being a great Rick, fan. you better chill out. No, 
I mean, I, I, I'm good. I'll give my, I, you know what? Here you go. I'll even go first. My favorite Keith Young memory. Me and him went to the, uh, or he, Keith had uh, tickets. He was a season ticket holder for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Knowing I'm a Steeler fan, he goes, hey, Rick, man, I got some tickets. Would you like to go watch a Steeler game with me? I'm like, yeah, man, let's go. So we go up there. Now, mind you, the Steelers lost. By the way, the Steelers never win when I go to the It wasn't until the Browns? So I will never go. No, it was against the Giants. Oh, okay. Now, here's the, the crazy Browns. part about it. In that game, the Steelers held the lead, and, and honestly, we had the game in the bag. And then um, our, our uh, long snapper, Warren, I forgot his first name. I apologize. Um, he ended up getting injured. We didn't have a backup. Hey, long star snapper. of the show, you're boring everybody with a long hey, Steelers shut story. Up. We didn't have a long this snapper. Nothing to do with wrestling. So, so uh, end up having uh, James Harrison end up filling in, and he snapped the ball through the end zone for a safety. Long story short, Giants come back and beat us, and yeah. it was like, but but it but it was a weird memory. Y'all suck, okay. This is why I don't like Browns fans. We were supposed to talk about wrestling memories, and by the way, for those of you that okay. don't know, Keith Young. Has passed away. Yeah. Um, at a young age, by the way. Um, what was he, 50, 51? I don't know how old he was, but he was Poor very guy, young. Poor guy, but for, great guy. The sex symbol, Keith Young, is no longer with us. Um, okay, then if, if it's a wrestling memory, uh, when he was in the tag team match, and it was uh, with, because um, I wasn't on the show with him. Usually he was the guy that filled in for me. Um, yeah, the better talent. Wrong. Anyway, he was so the varsity. When, you were the JV. When, uh, again, again, <laughs> ratings dropped. Ratings dropped uh, at proof on that. When uh, no, but Keith was a good guy. I'm not going to knock him on that one. Um, when he would do the uh, he, when he wrestled, he wrestled in the battle royal. Happened to be the the one that Jerry Lawler was in. Yeah. And Keith sat on the bottom rope for the entire match, just mm -hmm. holding on to it until the match was over. And then finally, Jerry noticed that he was there, and that's when he threw him out of the ring. But Keith lasted the second. He was the last yeah, second to last yeah. one. So. And actually, over his end of his, towards the end of his life there, I mean, he had lost a lot of weight. I right. mean, he, he really looked good at the end there. So it's, it's really a, it's a shame. Right, but he had What's a lot of What's your favorite memory, problems. Smyrno? I got one in the studio and one out of the studio. In the studio, If it's as another you know, Steelers story, we're going to have a problem. As you know, in the studio, he put me in a, a bear hug, and his pants fell down to that end, was funny. On the air. To end yes. PWW. And at, since it was over, we were laying on the ground in the... No more than a foot of room here, and he's a pretty big boy at the time. And we were just laughing so hard; it was it was great. I think the funniest part of Did that he made up? It was, <laughs> oh my god, Rick! No, he Why said, you got to keep bringing that crap up. He was chubby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what you meant? Yeah. Oh, I think the funniest part about it was is he was wearing heart underwear at the time, and when his pants he had came his heart down, on? he had a bunch of hearts on his underwear. <laughs> And the pa it wasn't nothing scripted, by the way. His pants legit fell down. Yeah, I know. Right. Um, so it was, it was yeah, really funny. And then the other one, we were outside. We used to do the show at Fox with Keith Kennedy in the evenings on Sunday for about six months. And it was a snowy, cold night. And we were playing some, tossing the football around. And I threw him, I think he ran a post or something. He came across and he went to, <laughs> and his, he just went up like a cartoon character and smacked that cement down. Sorry right, about the destruction. Shot and it, I, it was hilarious See, because he just slipped on ice, came crashing down, almost broke the parking lot of KDD and Fox Studios. <laughs> <laughs> I think some of the, the one thing I always loved about Keith is how he could, if he wanted to get on your nerves, he could totally get on your nerves. And I used to love the fact, like the one time when we had Jerry Lawler in as an announcer, and, and if you guys remember, Keith Jerry yeah, wasn't the Jerry the Jerry Lawler wasn't the greatest guy to deal with. And so Keith goes out dressed like Jim Ross, and then that That's offended right. Jerry, and then he starts tearing into Jerry about losing the mayor, you know, the, the election for the mayor. And he did his homework. Oh yeah, Larry, uh, Lawler came back pissed off. It's all hell, and he's like, "If you don't say something, damn, I'm gonna kick his ass." And Keith wasn't afraid or anything, but it, it was just hilarious how when Keith came back. He's laughing because he purposely did it to piss Jerry the King Lawler off because Lawler was an ass, you know, So as well as his side. Well, it, to Lawler's Especially credit, yeah. before you guys go over here and, and, and ruin his character. Uh, what, you, to, you of all people are saying that? Yeah, well, I, he was, listen, we've made up, Call Fire Alley Club. Anyway, you know, he even photobombed us. Uh, to Lawler's credit, that was the day before his wife left him. So why would he be mad? She didn't leave yet. Because they were fighting the entire time. Oh, get the hell out of here, Rick. You're, 
There goes the Nashadama stuff you got cat. going on here. Yeah. It was six days later than <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. listen, it, it, uh, although... Didn't she beat you that night? <laughs> it yeah. was, it, <laughs> she did beat him that night. Oh, it, listen, it was no coincidence. After putting her uh, Bronco oh, here muster we go. on Rick Lieb the day <laughs> oh after she God. leaves Jerry Lawler, she really thought she had a shot. <laughs> oh, I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Not after he's been in there. There's somebody that has a trophy old. wife and is, yeah, you yeah. know, Mr. Excitement. Trophy wife came he after that, obviously. Sex a lot. Might want to tell why do to you step think, up her game. Why do you think I have this trophy wife? Yeah, well, you're clearly like not doing anything with it. Apparently not. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and chub it up. Yeah. No, you guys chubbing up. Yeah. With, I don't know. Oh what is chubbing up me? I thought I meant fat. Oh. Did I get my words wrong? Are you chubbing up right now? Huh? I mean, I got a little bit of a gut going on here, but I mean, <laughs> other than that, it's all right. <laughs> oh, Anyhow, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about over the twenty five years it, that you know we haven't been on the. It's, has it been twenty years since twenty five years since we've been on the air? No, about twenty five 20, years since we started. Twenty one since PWW's yeah, been on the okay. air. Okay, so let's talk about some favorite memories of us doing this show, not just with any one person. Any memory you can think of, totally. All right, I'll go if you don't mind. Do I have a choice? You want to go I mean, you've already started. No, no, no. I was obviously, yeah. obviously the Santa Star thing. Star of the show, you're running things here. Go right ahead. The Santa. Obviously the Santa thing. Yeah, that was a great one. But, uh, and, and, uh, and I'm sure uh, Hollywood, Hollywood, come on over here. Come over here. Come on. I know you're over there. Hollywood, yes. Yes, Hollywood still exists, people. And, still and you're friends and nice with them now because you used to tear hit the poor well, guy up back in the day. Well, Hollywood's actually one of the cameramen for Rubber City Wrestling right now, so I got to be nice to him because he's got to get the good shots on me. Um, why is he coming behind you? Well, Hollywood's oh. favorite because Hollywood's <laughs> favorite memory, and I'm going to guarantee I'm right on this. You can nod if you want. Uh, would probably be when he hit me with that stinking briefcase that had a oh. brick in it. Mm. That wasn't cool at all. Excuse me a minute. I I, I still don't oh, forget it. I hope he has it again. Uh, yeah. What do you mean you hope he does it again? I hope he does it again. He did not bring that. Uh, wow. Oh, dear Lord. Hollywood, you sure you, you don't want to hit him with it this time? It's an antique. So you went to a flea market before you came. Yeah. <laughs> How do you still have that thing? We're still asking the question. You know they Who's next? Oh, dear Lord. Oh. Who? I actually am the idiot that brought him on the screen. So I... Here. Uh oh, here we go. Share with you guys from the past. Go right. on, go on. Get back here behind John. Come oh, on, in here. Remember the retired PWW oh, viewers right champion belt. Oh, that's beautiful. And you know, guys, there's one person that I thought should be a part of this show that they're not with us anymore. They can't be here physically, but they're here in spirit. The original first lady oh. of UWC wrestling. Oh, Barbie oh, doll. Hey, Barbie hey, doll. Oh, dear I Lord. That. Why do you have Barfy dog on the freaking... <laughs> oh, Rick. What? The poor lady is passed and you're calling her Barfy dog? Isn't that what her name she is? Made great, oh, she made great right. videos. Oh. Well, I know Hollywood, I apologize on behalf of him. We him. loved Barbie doll. He still Barbie got more doll. Things. Doll. I could Barf never Rick call her that. An old buddy of yours, man. You the go. ultimate warrior. There you go, man. He said he missed you. Even yeah. though dead. Well, I know how to survive a heart Is attack. Semen? <laughs> Ooh, good point. There you go, good point. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Semen. And it's awesome. And we're sorry to Probably. hear about the passing. Well, and she was the first years. lady of Pro Wrestling Weekly. Um, and what? Rick, you cannot be saying Wasn't stuff his mom quick. the first lady because he's the boss's son? Didn't she like own everything? Oh. Uh, Okay, the boss's you got me daughter, on that my one. sister too. Yeah, boss's daughter it. Jenna would be the first lady. Jenna, oh, shout Jenna's out to Jenna. House. Yeah, that, oh, we're gonna get to that. Right. But, I mean, okay. you're messing up a memorial here, yeah. Rick. No, I'm trying to fix it. Hey, <laughs> oh my God. I don't want to interrupt, but I want to give you some of my memories of PWW 25 years ago. Of course, when I knocked out Rick with a briefcase, I wasn't knocked out. I slipped. yeah, you you were out cold in the parking lot, laying there, shitting all over yourself. And I want, uh, this guy here never liked, I don't think, but the guy's name was Tack. Oh, this gosh. That, that, oh, wait. Speaking of yard tards. Oh, speaking of yard tards. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Rick, I'm a wrestle pro wrestler with his shirt because, on. yeah, he wrestled with his shirt off. Yeah, that's true. But he didn't know how to wrestle. So he actually just got in there with his shirt off being a yard tard. Listen, training is how you become a wrestler, too, people. Yard tard rule number two. Get Proper training. What's your, what's rule number one? Get proper attire. Oh oh, 
So, yeah. I don't think he was that bad with the attire. Well, I don't see you. No, no, I mean, other than the, the, the George, but, the you know, studs table, I had to wear them. You hear what he just George. said? I hated it. He don't see you jumping off the roof of the TV station. You're right, because I'm not a freaking backyard wrestler. I am your role model, Rick Lee. I'm the greatest technician ever to step foot in a wrestling ring. And anybody you're acting like you're the goat. doesn't believe, I am the goat. Oh. <laughs> Good Lord. What do you mean, acting? I am you're literally the goat, the goat of professional, of professional wrestling? wrestling. Yes, I've kind of. Of all the professional wrestling? Uh, I, I, listen, on TV, all you're getting is that sports entertainment crap. I don't even consider that. that psh, psh, exit out. Sports entertainment, not professional wrestling. Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan. Rick Flair, you're, you're, okay, you're more than okay, all okay, okay. Ric Flair maybe could be tied with me as goats. <laughs> Maybe like when on the Mount Rushmore, you have Rick Lieb, Rick Flair, right. you know, uh, uh, yeah. what'd you say? Mount Rick, Rick, Rick Lieb, Rick Flair, Nick Bockwinkle. Come on. You know oh, you're going to count Nick Bockwinkle? As oh yeah. He's a great wrestling, wrestling technician Bruce also. Turner? And I'm going to go ahead and throw. Oh, what about Bo? Absolutely not. Marty Jones. <laughs> I, I put <laughs> Marty Jones, the British wrestler. He's fantastic. Those are the guys that I would talk about. That would be your Mount be Rushmore? Mount Rushmore. That would be everybody's Mount Rushmore. What about Rushmore? Eugene? Good point. Jeez. There's something wrong with you, Bo. <laughs> hey, well, something guys, really wrong I with you. I want to really congratulate you on the Thanks for coming on the show. And, and, uh, Thank you, Mr. Hardy. And I'm sorry that Rick was very rude about the, okay. the, the, the memories. The show um, we loved Barbie Doll. All right, whatever. Thank Morningwood, thank you for coming back on the show, man. It's always a pleasure. <laughs> I'll see you in the uh, next RCW you the show. Morningwood? Oh, my... I, Holly weird. Um, oh my God. <laughs> Listen, I love you too, Rick. I know you do. I know you do. Wow. I, I will see you on May 25th. Oh my God. So. Listen. Awful ruthless. My favorite memory is kind of a funny one on top of the Santa Claus, of course. And that's when Road Dog actually came in and attacked me. I always thought that Which was pretty, on the show. That was pretty good. That dude threw a heck of a punch. Jerry Lawler and Road Dog both threw some great punches. I'm going to give him credit on that. So, and I even told, I told um, Bob, uh, Armstrong, when I talked to him, I was like, mm, I go, out of, everybody his that's, dad, his dad, dad. out of everybody that's ever thrown a punch at me, I go, your son, I, I go, him and Lawler were right up there. And he goes, I taught them both how to throw that punch. <laughs> and I'm oh, like, well, it. then you're probably the master. Bullet Bob. Yes, Bullet Bob Armstrong. My favorites. Yep. Yep. Oh, you guys what about you, Bo? What were some of your favorite memories? Make it quick, because I know the producer keeps telling me to oh, hurry he, up. Well, he's not the road dog. You know, why don't we just wait then? Yeah. Hollywood, go back behind the camera, man. We'll, we'll cut off. Let, uh, Thanks for having me, yeah, man. Yeah, thank you, Hollywood. We love you, brother. Take Thanks. Care. Good seeing you again. Oh, we're we're going to take far. a commercial break. When we get back, we're going to finish up with some memories. And then we're going to take some, later on in the show, we're going to take some questions and emails or whatever as well, right? And talk about some Rubber City Wrestling. And talk about some Rubber City Wrestling. All that and more when we return to Pro Wrestling Weekly, the 25-year reunion. We call it Roller Jail Watson here. I work hard all day, every day, working for the common man, working for everyone. And when I get off work and I want to have a nice cool beer to reward myself, I come to Loose Tavern in Prairie Township, Ohio. For good times with good people in a family-like environment, come to Lou's, 3238 Lincoln Way East in Maslin, Ohio, 44646. Hey guys, this is Front Row Joe. Talking about RCW Spotlight, but not talking about RCW Spotlight. Today is 25 years of Pro Wrestling Weekly. My name is Front Row Joe, and I'm giving a special shout out to the boss, Bo Smurno, the champ, John Potok, and of course, your real model, Rick Lieb. 25 years of Pro Wrestling Weekly. Can't believe it. Here's the 25 more. Love y'all. Keep up the good work. Welcome back, everybody. Pro Wrestling Weekly, the 25th Reunion, 25th year reunion 25th show. Anniversary. Yeah, I can't, wow. spit, I can't spit, spit it out. What, spit what's it happening? out. You got me all uh, laughing and um, I can't concentrate, Rick. Oh, <laughs> but, oh wait a minute. Wait a, oh, you took your jacket off. What a great shirt. Look at that. That's Mint really condition. vintage. That's a classic. A medium, too. Uh, oh, you like it? I do like it. I'll sell the shirt off my back for 100 bucks. Starting offer. Who in the hell is going to fit? Bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Your kid, Rick. Right? Mediums. <laughs> Oh, shoot, you got a piece of string. Hang oh, wait, that's your arm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Smyrno, don't take that from it. Don't get hey. bullied by Lieb. 
That's oh my so gosh. Good. I was just making a joke. Anyway, we were talking about memories of yeah. the show. Um, we we did we finish with Rick's? I've been done. Oh, okay. All right, Bo. What what are some of your great memories? Well, we talked about the road dog. I had the pleasure of doing that interview for that segment for the with the road dog. I also one of my favorite memories when I think you guys were doing D'Lo Brown and I was in the heel roll and I came in the studio and just took him away from you guys and made him leave PWW and said this is enough. You know that was pretty fun for me. I think one it's of my a good f- interview actually. Yeah. That would have been one of my cool. favorite. I, uh, for me personally, it was when I put the rock mask on one time and I was pretending to be the rock. <laughs> and then we were watching it on the replay in the limousine coming back from a WWE show, pay per view or whatever. Yeah. And it was just fun to just to watch that back for the first time. So that's some of mine. And of course, I got the stud table, put a cake in my face on my birthday once. Not my favorite memory, but, you know, there was a lot of fun. Times. I think there was so many, there, there was so many great memories and, and so many great callers, too, by the way. But, I miss, um, I miss hanging up on the callers in my early days. Yes, that's true too. You would. That was fun. Well, Rick was really more because he'd have to reach all the way across the table to hang up on people. Yeah, you guys did that. And on he purpose. never did it if they were if they were stroking Rick's ego. He never hung never. up on them. But as soon as they would say, there were some people that got on his nerves so bad. As soon as he heard their voice, the first syllable of the word, he's reaching over the table and pushing click. Oh um, gosh! That's and of course, story. that would make me laugh that much harder. Um, I think one of my favorite ones too is when we were you interviewing. Know how hard it is to get through. I know, I know, that, that's the funny thing. And then they, they get through, and then all of a sudden, you know, you're hanging up on them after all that long wait. And plus, even when you do get through, you got to wait before we pick up the phone. Right. Yeah. But anyway, uh, I remember one time we were interviewing New Jack, and the time bomb wanted to rib New Jack, and he called in on the line, and he called him Pookie. And you remember how pissed off New Jack got because <laughs> yeah. he called him Pookie? <laughs> Um, New Jack City. Oh, my, oh my God, God, that was so. He goes. By so the way, call it Pookie. <laughs> first of all, rest in peace, New Jack. New Jack was one of the funniest dudes off camera. Like when when he was done, was a great guy. When yeah. he jumped out of gimmick, one of the funniest guys you could talk to. And you know, I I don't know. I, Actually, I tell this story a lot about New Jack when people ask about New Jack. Do you remember we went to, we took him out to dinner and we were eating dinner. And he would literally be talking, telling wrestling stories because he, you know, he was a very smart guy with wrestling knowledge. But yeah. he would be telling stories, and then halfway through the story, and eating at the same, he'd fall asleep. He had because uh, <laughs> of the brain damage, he oh, had that yeah. uh, narcolepsy. Narcolepsy, yeah. yeah. And uh, he would literally be telling a story. So if he was like, "Well, Bo was driving a car," <clears throat> and he'd be holding a chicken bone in his hand still, and they wake up and like down the street and act like I don't think he knew. That he went out because then he just continue eating. And then we're like, what in the hell are we in here? Hey, real quick, speaking of rest in peace, how about in eating, Nicole Bass at breakfast, Bob Evans, I think she ordered like pecan or caramel <laughs> oh pancakes or something. God. I was like, what? We then she the also Harley walked Davidson into the restroom club. when I was in there once. I was like, We went to that Harley Davidson restaurant with her as well. That yeah, yeah. Her yeah. and her husband. Her husband's a trip. Yeah, real good guy. Real good guy. You know, and there's some of the old hosts that we had with us before, too. We got we to gotta mention them. Jenna, who was always a, a great host on the show she used to you know of course we use jenna's sex appeal to get some of the guys to come to even agree to do the interviews sex appeal didn't she have fat arms no are, are you out of your mind no you're in <laughs> she's gonna see you and she's gonna kick your ass you know the funny thing you. about the jenna casting is that she I, wasn't even the original jenna it was somebody else a friend of yours we shot the video we didn't show the face we showed the body in the shower and then come to find out, she in a failed shower? at the last minute. Is this when we I was got off? Jenna in the role. No, you were there. It worked out. You were there when Jenna was, was there. I think it was the first time I. Uh, yeah. had no, you were there. So she wasn't even in the vignette, but it ended up being her. And then, of course, we can't forget nice. about talking about one of your faves, Keith, Keith Kennedy. Kennedy. Keith, I, actually, you know what? One of my favorite memories also has to do with him. He tried to give me a rib uh, Christmas gift one year, and it was a uh, a, a pack of Viagra. And here I opened the pack. He wasn't expecting me to open the box. And there was one taken out of it already. Oh. Apparently it was his. Remember you remember that? That was great. And I'm like, I think of myself, I'm like, you literally just hung yourself while trying oh to be funny. Wow. It's like, why? Don't give me your box of Viagra. Yeah. We, we've had some very entertaining moments. On yeah, I heard he was just on Rover. There. Huh? I heard he was just on Rover's Morningwood Glory Hole. Whatever it's called. Rick, you better... Uh, why do you keep Sorry. saying all these names? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Hollywood. I know Morning was probably taken by you. But, um, no, the... Uh, the I, I don't care. What's he going to do? Beat my ass? 
<laughs> I'm not saying that. You can't. I, I mean, but probably um, would. But I'm talking, uh, about, <laughs> I'm talking about. Listen, if you're going to go on that show, tell Rover I want tell Rover to come over. I'll wrestle him if he really well, does. It, does it one of his people wrestle with you? No, he's a referee, and everybody keeps. He tried out wrestling with us. He did a couple Jeff matches. Lee, Jeffrey, Jeffrey LaRoque. LaRoque. Yeah, he tried yeah. out wrestling with us. He did a couple matches. Oh, I'm, you I'm sent sorry. a message with he's Jeff. Just, he's just a little guy, you know. But uh, and then and then they're they're over there. First of all. I asked Jeff, or Jeffrey's like, yeah, he was making funny because I, you know, you only pay me like 20 bucks. So I'm like, first of all, you know, if you uh, were to sell tickets, you'd make more money, but you're not selling any tickets. Wait a minute. And so, hold on. And I go, <laughs> and, but then, but then secondly, you're going to, you asked about it. So secondly, he goes, he's like, I go, I go, how? I'm like, you're working 10 minutes tops. Usually your matches last about three to five. You know, I go, Ooh, and you're Jeffrey, so yeah. he does wrestle. No, he, when he tried wrestling, he was about three to five minutes. He was done. He couldn't wrestle. He, he, people were beating him too quickly. So he ended up, you know, but I'm still giving the man 20 bucks for that. You know what I mean? And it's like, that's for three, five minutes worth of work. And, and, uh, no advertising but for you spending all this time on it. Leave the truth must hurt. No, the truth does hurt no. because, uh, <laughs> uh he, he ended up becoming a referee for us and he refs what one, maybe two matches and it, it, I'm paying him the same. You know, are you still in good terms with him? Oh yeah. Me and Jeffrey, I, I get along with him. I mean, you know, he seems to ref my matches every uh, uh, quite often. It seems like, and he screwed up one. Um, I should be like, let me guess when you lost. Yeah, of course. Oh, anyway. Yeah, so <laughs> my shoulder was definitely up. <laughs> what anyway, about, uh, so, I want to, I want to mention a couple, but things I asked here. him, I go, how much do you make on Rovers? He goes 10 bucks an hour. I'm like, Oh, was well, like, yeah, you're really making bank over there. Rover, you need to do better. And if you can't, <laughs> you ask me, you, you ask me, I'm going to go ahead and say it all yeah. this. Because I guess uh, him Bo, and Keith were talking bad about me on that thing. That. Oh. You asked about it with Keith. They were on the show, at, you know, saying that I was using Rover because he was only. They or, wasted or, minutes or, of their or, day talking or, about you. because I only did it, you know. But hey, thanks for the free advertisement. Your role oh, model. Right. You asked me a question. I'm gonna is it, is this a challenge? Oh, man, it's always been a challenge. He's too scared. He wouldn't show up. <laughs> All right. Well, there we Remember have Remember when those guys challenged you guys I would in stretch the NWW ring that were doing the uh, show? The oh, uh, yeah. The, he, the one's ring. on TV still. He's on Mike, uh, Polk. Mike Polk. Yeah. And his buddy. And guys, his buddy. Yeah. Guys kind of and you got to suspend it off the I air got because for, you uh, used the deal to describe him. <laughs> I did. I did. Yeah. Well, well, I needed a figure that was actually like him. A dildo? Well, he's a dick. I mean, well, so well, where did you get the dildo? I had to stop it like the. Oh, like you a, didn't stop like it anywhere, Lee. You way. pulled that right out of your pocket. Yeah, it was in my pocket. Yeah, it was in my in, in the bag I bought it. That in. day you were trying to lie, say it was your toothbrush. We all knew. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one, actually. Uh, I got I got one over on the roll. No, that again, that's two. Wait, it was just that's two. two. Hey, got two. Nothing on you, dude. Yeah. All right. Anyway, I also want to kind of mention some of the. You know, we we're talking Memorial Keith Young. May he rest in peace. We also want, I would like to say also, there was another great guy that used to be part of the show some, a lot, actually. Uh, even Colder. Oh, yeah. You know, he right. passed it. You, you know, you worked with him many times, right? Three and, against uh, him. Very great guy. Undefeated against him. Of course, we were the UWC Tag Team Champions. That's right. That's right. Very good guy. Um, and then, of course, you know, some, like I said, some of the great memories. Like, I had a gr lot of great memories with Keith, with Jenna. Um, and I still talk to both of them. Actually, I, I talk to Jenna a lot. I mean, she's... I love her to death. She's like my little sister. I mean, I you know I love her. She, um, right. Great girl. Um, yeah, those those were great memories. And I mean, Roto, I'm, just just so you know, I, I'm actually friends with uh, Jenna and her husband. I've known them since they were little kids. Yeah. So it's fun for me to poke. Oh, absolutely. I, I'll poke absolutely. fun, but I don't really mean anything. But, right. You know. Good lord. Great people. Sure great don't. people. She's still gonna kick your ass. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Um, so. With all that being said, let's roll on into some RCW news you got. Okay, let me go ahead. Rubber and City Wrestling. Yes, Rubber City it's Wrestling. It's that flippy stuff. Not that flippy oh, stuff. Oh, I messed it up, sorry. Yeah, yeah you mess up a lot. Of I things. know, I did it on purpose. <laughs> all right, got to pull it up. Get that bigger because my eyesight isn't as good. Okay, so on May 25th, Rubber City Wrestling presents Civil War. And um, on that card, in no particular order, by the way, um, we'll have the Butcher, Glenn Chaney, and Joe Zook taking on Draven Post and Lionheart, a.k.a. the Hawaiian Lions, for the RCW World Tag Team Championships. Hopefully, you know, the Butcher and Joe Zook 
are able to uh, get rid of are they quite Hawaiian? possibly the, the weakest world tag team champions ever. There's no Lions in Hawaii. Uh, ruthless Alexander Fair Crowley, who, I, who, 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 by the way, beat you, beat me at the last event, and I, I give him his props. I, I, I take nothing from him. We'll be taking on Spike Ronan. For- Can I interrupt you for a second? Yeah. You know, you, you asked me to watch that match, by the way, and it was, it was a great match. But he I do got to give more. Arm. I got to give more props to him because, like, you definitely seemed a little winded or gassed. I wasn't gassed. He no. took my shoulder out. <laughs> he took my thumb chop. You should just, you, should just uh, you know, thank him for carrying you. for. You yeah, know. carrying me. Uh, he, uh, he dislocated my shoulder and didn't stop working it. And honestly, that's what I would have done to him. So I can't be mad at him. And that's why I wanted to see it because I thought what he did was fantastic. And I, it's the first time I wasn't mad about a loss in a long time. So yeah, congratulations, Alexander (laughs) Crowley. Spike's going to beat you. So many things we could say about Uh, it. Anyway, uh, yard tar crashing match. Uh, your role model, Rick Lee, will get to take on JL Watson um, J.L. Watson is not a wrestler. He's a barroom brawler. He has no business being in a professional wrestling ring, and I'm going to show him why. You know, honestly, you're in the ring with the ring general like myself. The goat. So, the goat. Thank the you. goat. Thank there you. we you go. Know. <laughs> you know. Anyway, uh, next match on the list, uh, we got Aaron Black taking on Scott E. Stevens. That should be a pretty interesting match. Uh, both guys are moving their way up into the World Heavyweight Championship um, rankings, and who knows? Maybe one of them will get a shot at it. Um, but hopefully I am able to move my way up there ahead of them so that I can get it first. Uh, Blackhawk, well, I actually, George anymore, Davis is my friend. So I probably won't. <laughs> right. Um, what was that? That's what I thought. Uh, Blackhawk versus Schizo. Uh, that, should, that should be uh, interesting. It's a rematch for the RCW Super Heavyweight Championship. Uh, Mike Smiley will be taking on one of the members of the way, Harley T. Morris. So... Uh, that should be pretty easy for Harley T. Moores. You know, Mike Smiley, you know, he's in uh, shape. Round. Uh, George oh Davis will be taking God. on. Wow. George Davis will be defending his World Heavyweight Wrestling Championship against Lord Marcus Knight. Uh, Why do I feel Lord like Marcus, I meant to say the spotlight, Marcus Knight. Or by Mercedes. talking all this crap. Who knows? And then finally, uh, Kevin Phoenix will be taking on. Or no, no, no. Actually, no. That's. Sorry, that's part of the pre-card, and that has nothing to do with this. So uh, with that being said, um, it should be a great event. RCW Civil War, May 25th, Akron Turner Club in in Talmadge, Ohio. Easy for me to say. And uh, that will be at doors open at 5 p.m., bell time at 6 p.m. And, yes, I'm wrapping it up. Shut your filthy whore mouth. Oh, my God. All right. With that being said, we're going to take a commercial (laughs) break. And when we come back, our final segment with all your questions, emails, comments, we're going to have a little fun with this. And, Rick, try to behave yourself. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll do that. (laughs) We'll be right back. TNT Health, unmasking your potential. So, you want to look like the headline, Vinny DiMazzo? Here's your chance. Let's not be ridiculous. Nobody can look like Vinny. But if you need that energy before your workout, or you want to lose some weight, burn some fat, we got that. You want to build some lean muscle, you can get it at TNT. Or even if you just need the essentials, BCAAs, juiced up, we're here at TNT Health, we carry it all. Come visit us at TNTHealth.com. Would you like to see your commercial aired on both RCW Spotlight and RCW Global? Contact us on social media at facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling, Instagram at Rubber City Wrestling, or email us at the RCW Network at gmail.com. Welcome back, everybody, to the final segment of Pro Wrestling Weekly, the 25th year anniversary show. I'm the champ, John Potok, alongside your role model, Rick Lieb, and the boss's son, Bo Smyrno. And guys, it has been a great show, a hell of a ride, and it was just kind of like we n- never left off. But before we even get into anything else, I noticed... It's like riding a bike. It, it, Rick it, never it, had one, but... <laughs> oh, yeah. why, why, would you, why would you say something dumb like that? On the video with Tanya Strong, obviously, they showed my bike in the driveway. No, well, we don't know which ones. They showed a bunch of bikes. I can point it out. I can point it out. You had a bike? 
I always had a. I used to park behind your Starbucks. garage so I can get to school in time, oh. and I was still five minutes late every yeah, day. I was gonna say, then that's not on time, Rick. That's on, that's on role model time. And a lot of time you didn't even get there. I was on Ripley. I, I, well, I yeah. had a bike. <laughs> I had a bike stolen in this neighborhood before. I think How do you think old, I got I, a bike? Yeah, I was gonna say, I think it's your old bike. I never said I paid for a bike. I said a I had Ranger? a bike. Was it a Ranger? Anyway, we got a. Okay, let's glass of water. All right, let I me mean, explain. What the it hell to you. is this? All right, it smells good. Is there a worm so in there? on our show. Holy shit. <laughs> Oops. On our show, on our show, um, on, every Sunday at noon, we actually have a show similar to this. Um, toned down a lot more, though, uh, called RCW Spotlight. And on that show, every once in a while, we'll have, like, people, they'll send in, like, things like, oh, have you ever tried this drink? And, you know, we'll, we'll try it on the air. Well, of course, I've tried this drink already because I'm the one who made it. And well, I didn't make it from all the way from scratch. What I did is I got some moonshine. It's just some white lightning. Moonshine. It's nothing strong. What are we, the Dukes and, uh, you being serious? A one hundred percent serious. And then what I've done is I flavored it with uh, cotton candy flavored. And so this right here. Uh, where, where did you gonna, get this white lightning from? Um, well, is it real white lightning? One hundred percent white, real white Pure lightning. And moonshine. I am not allowed to tell you where I got it from. So that's how real white lightning it is. So did you get it from, you didn't get it from Ohio then? Oh, this was not in the state of Ohio. No, you ain't going to get this in the state of Ohio mm. because nobody in the state of Ohio knows how to make it this well. So let's it's one of your po dunk cousins from like West Virginia this, or some shit like let's that. Let's just say that this went, you, you, let's just say we did some traveling to get this. That's all I'm going to leave it at. You understand? Now I have, but I flavored it. I did the cotton candy myself and, uh, Hold I on. want you guys to give it a try. Rick, just a shot. Before we get into this. Just a half a shot. That, what? Huh? Half a shot. That's all. Half that's, a shot. It's a half all a right, gallon. sure, it's a double shot glass. Okay, so it's technically just a shot. But it's a shot. Is this safe for us to be drinking this much? 100% safe for us to be drinking. I've drank this on the air before. Now, mind Not you, this much. the reason why we saved it. Yes, this much. The reason why we saved it for the last segment is because... You may feel a form of euphoria come over you as you are talking. And I remember doing this at the beginning of our show and slurring the words near the end of the show. Right. So, with that being said, now did you guys uh, get the text where I said, don't eat any food? No. I haven't eaten any food. Okay, good. You're just like me then. All right, so uh, it'll work even faster. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Now you got me scared. Is this? No, no it's 100% good, man. Trust me. Just trust me on this. All right. Come on. To 25 year anniversary, I want to say salute to both of you. Salute and to all salute of our to everybody that's over people, here helping. Everybody. All the people that made us great back Absolutely. in the day. Absolutely. To pro wrestling. We thank you. Yeah. Now, down the hatch. Nobody's allowed to leave any at the bottom of that glass. For real. Right. One, two, three, go. <laughs> <laughs> that shit cost a lot of money, dumbass. <laughs> It wasn't fake. Woo, that's good. You threw it. No, what are you talking about? Oh, my gosh. That was delicious. How'd it taste? No, you're a moron. If I would have known you were going to be a girl, I wouldn't have poured it in your glass. I had some. Sorry, princess, man. I didn't know that you didn't like it. Should have gave him some water, Rick. Did you drink it or spill it on yourself? No, I, I spilled some on myself when you hit him. Oh. You can't make me laugh when you're... <laughs> oh, but how was it? it? I'm still burning. It's like cotton candy. It's right about here right now. Did it taste like a... It I wish you would have told me that. They did it. I tasted it. That right there. You, you know how much I sell a shot? <laughs> I literally sell dollars. it as a shot. Listen to me. You're that upset. You got to blast. Oh, I don't know. Well, it's just I, I enjoyed doing it. Um, it was delicious. Well, sorry about the To be honest mic. with you, I didn't. Uh, how did you like it? Did well, you like it or burning. not? It's still burning. I did like the taste and like the smell. It's supposed to burn. It's freaking moonshine. That's why I told you guys bring a bottle <sighs> of water with you. It's a nice aftertaste. <laughs> no, it doesn't. The good, the front taste is good. It's the back taste that kicks your ass. Well, I didn't have the front taste. Well, the, it, it tastes like cotton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rick is really mad about this I, right now. By the way, I was like, yeah, I am. I mean, I was like, I was. I, it, I, basically, it was a gift to you. I was like, bringing. You guys I up had and, some, dude. Do you realize what how I much? I can handle. John, have you ever bought white lightning before? But you understand how much it costs, right? You know how much a jar costs? Well, it doesn't cost that much when you go to Old Smoky. I mean, maybe from the sills of Old Smoky in That's Nashville or Gatlinburg or not N Nashville in Tennessee. It's water. No, it's just as strong. Old Smoky is water. <laughs> water. It's not nearly as strong. Is this two hundred proof or one ninety or whatever? It's about one ninety something. Yeah. 
Does it, do, <laughs> does it feel like two, uh, 190? I mean, um, I, yeah. Okay, yeah. I wouldn't lie to you, man. This stuff here, real deal. And that's why you shouldn't have thrown it over there because it costs a grip. And I had to go drive far. Well, Rick, you know, you're, you're making a lot of money at Taco Bell now. So I think Taco you can Bell. afford it. You're giving Taco Bell a free plug. <laughs> By the way, I haven't worked at Taco Bell. I just wanted Bell. to say that again one more time. I, I haven't worked at Taco Bell since like, the dog? what, 20 something years ago? It's been longer than that. Yeah, the like 25 years ago. Yeah. I'm just busting your butt. Right. Head. But uh, I don't actually, get all mad. Don't, don't be a, a violent job. drunk. That was a fun job, though. Don't be a violent drunk. I am a violent drunk. Apparently, you are. You hit ball for no reason. You hit me? I didn't feel <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I, bet anyway. you, I bet you if I chopped him, he'd cry in the air. Yeah. He hit my dang mic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I fixed it. I fixed it. Anyway. Is it working good? We promised. It isn't? I'll just take You're both. You're a mess, champ. Oh. You need a shower. Yeah, well, he can't make me laugh when he's uh, <laughs> smacking you around. Let's with see this. All right, this, the questions are sent to you, uh, champ. You got them? <sighs> no, can you read the first one? I get ready. I'm still. Recovering. All right, I'll read the first one. Anyway, uh, who's that guy you're kissing? What the oh hell are you talking God. about? You're so weird. Oh my, oh my God. There's something wrong with you. Oh my God. No, I'm not that way. Hold Don't on. Get your hopes up. Rick. Before we get into something, can I show this? Should I show this? I don't know. Oh gosh, no! Don't show it. Don't worry about it. It's just between. That's that's a little. Uh, j- okay. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll save that for another day. All right. Besides that, I want to post it on my Facebook. Oh. Um, so I, I'll go probably to Facebook jail again, huh? <laughs> Facebook jail. Yeah. Uh, this one is not for Rick because it's obvious, <laughs> huh? John and Bo, who are your influences growing up? Why hmm. is that obvious? Oh. Yours was Ric Flair, of course. How did you know? Is it that obvious? Yeah. Shit. Ric Flair. All right. Well, screw it. Well, we got quiet here. You guys know um, what your influences were? He's talking about wrestling influences. Yeah. Wrestling yeah. influences. Well, I know yours is HBK, but I mean, yeah. John. Uh, years later. Right. I like the Armstrongs first. Yeah. Rob, Bob Brad Brown. Armstrong was your yeah. Honestly, you know what got that. me to watch wrestling? I was sitting there. We were. I never used to watch it at first. My, actually, the first. My, my father and my brother, Fred. Yeah, that's who I used to watch, watch with Fred. It. Fred actually started me. And he kind of got me hooked. And what got me hooked, believe it or not, was two things. Harley Ra- the Harley race Ric Flair match where Ric Flair won the title in the cage against Harley Race. It's a belt. Go on. Um, <laughs> that one, I know you're the GOAT, not Ric Flair or Harley Race. But anyway, um, and then of course even though they weren't nowhere near as good back then as they became, on Georgia Championship Wrestling, there was... The Road Warriors, they came out and they looked like shit back then. On on Georgia they were sloppy. They were real sloppy. I'm not talking talent wise. I'm talking <clears throat> look wise. Their makeup wasn't nothing the way it was years later. They didn't wear the spikes except around their neck and their wrist. Mm-hmm. You know, they look more like bikers more than they yeah, did. Yeah. You know, but yeah, that's actually they actually look like they me. they look like gay bar guys. Yeah. Let's say what they were. Am I lying? <laughs> yes. It, it, good thing they're both. Uh, well, I shouldn't say good thing, but Luck, oh, lucky Rick. for them, they're both dead. What, for, uh, lucky for you, because oh they a uh, goat. Uh, okay. okay. Anyway, no. So but, you never said what yours was besides HBK later. No, he said Armstrong. Armstrong. Oh, Armstrong, first, you did say that. I like okay. Georgia. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a buzz days. from the moonshine, Rick. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tear my. Head. Are you feeling it yet? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? That's good stuff, isn't it? John, hey, first of all, when I told you the other day that I was going to bring something, I told you I wouldn't lie to you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the real surprise? That was the real surprise? I was hoping for more, but anyway. Maybe a gift. I mean, you could have another shot if you no. want. <laughs> no, it costs uh, too much money. I you made that you. clear. I know. Uh, hell no. I, I just want an excuse to chop him. <laughs> I'll lick the wall later where Smyrna will put his. I didn't really yeah. hit him hard. Listen, for the record, I did not really hit him hard. Okay? Look at you being soft. He would have broke. Uh, oh, give him a kiss God. and apologize. Clearly, he would have broke. Okay. Oh. Look. All right. Man. We got more questions. All right. <laughs> oh Is there ever God. a chance of a return of PWW, UWC in any capacity? Not if Bo's on it. <laughs> Pouring my drinks out. That was about $30 worth of alcohol. Yeah. That's the next 25 year grudge. Yeah. Yeah. Year grudge. Um, UWC, I would say we're probably 99% sure that's probably a no. What do you think? I mean, UWC definitely a no because yeah. I think you, it, it, the, yeah. the rights of that got sold. If we were going to do anything, PWW, if we were going to do anything with 
wrestling, we would obviously support our brother with what he's got going on. I appreciate that. And uh, but yeah, wrestling wise, yeah, no. PWW, never say never. But okay, now this is a good one. This third one. How badly do you all miss the Shamrock? Mm. I miss it a lot. I all, I still talk about those days. I um, you know what I don't miss though the nail sticking out of the wall. Because I got but there like, was oh, a funny. Oh, we did get some great memories there. Uh, one being your cousin who was coming out for a ranch oh, and just smacked his forehead. He, on he the, smacked on the his thing. forehead on the top of the doorway um, and then cut wow. the best promo I think I've ever seen. Well, that's, him I ever cut. I don't know about that. It's probably because it was his best. Cost. You don't think it was uh, his best com- promo ever? <laughs> I think he was stuttering a little bit because he was rocked. No, he was rocked. Come on, he told. He called little Johnny. He's like, he isn't even a whole man or something like that. And then he, uh, Johnny. I mean, everything he did was so funny. Yeah, those were some great times at the Shamrock. We had we had a lot of great times at a lot of different places, a lot of different arenas, a lot of different schools. I mean, we, I mean, we, we did a lot of stuff. And yeah, yeah. the fact that you're still doing is really kind of. I, I'm immortal. What yeah, part of that so. don't you I'll get? I'll give you that. We're still not. I'm not. I'm, I don't think I can ag- <laughs> agree with the goat thing yet. But I don't think I missed the show. Well, come out and watch a show. May 25th. Come out and watch a show. Why don't you guys do the commentary for it? I'll put you on the spot right here on the show. Oh. Why don't you guys do commentary with uh, Ricky Williams and um, uh, Gus? Football and player? Yeah, I was gonna say Ricky yeah. Williams. Not the same I'm guy. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not the same guy. This one's white. I'll see if it fits in my schedule. All right. Well, I'll do it if Bo does it. The important one. How about you? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm down. No, I mean, I would love for you to do it. Okay. I, I'm down. Yeah. I right. appreciate that. And then that way we can have you. You guys come out there. You go over there. We and get at least get in for free. Yeah. You, We're not, I don't want to have to make up for that shot. Because he can. Hey, right. if we make enough, you might get 20 bucks. Uh, uh, ooh, that's what I'm talking go. about. Money. Nice. Say, right, Jeffrey LaRoque? <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> He's really bitter about that. No, no. I love Jeffrey LaRoque. I'm just playing around, man. I got it. I, I have to joke. All right. Anyway. Okay. Um. Then uh, where'd it go? I got to find that other one because it's different. So let me look for it. Why are you sending me pictures, Andrew? Our, our producer <laughs> is sending me photos of him naked. Oh, it's really creepy. God. Boy, he's really buzzed now. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you know I'm drunk now. No, I'm just playing. Here it goes. Um, all right, this is from uh, Aaron Moritz. Remember Aaron Moritz? He was the fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. That I the knocked that, out with one punch. Well, I don't remember that, but no, I I became friends with him afterwards because obviously the guy he, that he respected. That he came power. in and tried to choke you, and he hit him with the pan or the uh, the platter. I, I don't recall a platter. That's allegedly. Oh. Remember the allegedly oh. part we did. At yeah, the yeah, yeah. Show? I don't yeah. want to get sued by you either. Punch. That's right. Allegedly. Anyway, um, he says I see the champ in his advanced age. <laughs> <laughs> I see the champ in his advanced age is looking jacked these days. By the way, champ. Show them arms off, man. Don't be, don't be shy. Oh, well, standing next to Smyrna, they are going to look hey, bigger, I guess. I know, right? Hey, I, I keep making sure. <laughs> is this a setup? Hey, hey, I keep making sure I put my arms <laughs> close to them so everybody will think is I'm, that, like, huge. So what is this, like a setup here? Like, what? That's, uh, yeah. You know no, Batista, but, trust me. I was sitting next to him. But anyway, he says, I, I, I see the champ in his advantage is jacked these days, which you really are. My, 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 shout you. out to Thank your you. workout game. Um, uh, when is he going to be a man and meet our role model in the ring? <laughs> Uh, for a long anticipated rematch, um, I see silver platters in his future, and the in the champ's future. I agree with you on that one. If that was the, the well, case, why, why, why were you be, laughing, Rick? Well, I mean, look, no offense, because I think you're in phenomenal shape. And in and, and in truth, like say we were to wrestle, like say the opening of the match, you'd probably get the power on me and stuff, you know. And I would just weather the storm like I always do. Against you didn't against guys. Crowley. And then after about three. <laughs> <laughs> He's lighter than me. <laughs> after, All right, go ahead. after three to five minutes, you start huffing and puffing. Crowley's in wrestling shape, by the way. And and, and I'm not knocking. I'm not knocking you. I'm not saying I can. Sure, the hell you. sounds like. Listen, it, go ahead. no, stop, <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Listen, I, I there is no way on earth I could outbench you. I know that for a fact. I mean, I, I we've worked out together. I mean, you definitely, <laughs> you're, you know, I mean, definitely can outbench. But what are you doing? Four fifty now. No, I wish, but uh, 425. I, I could do 420, yeah. Okay, 420. All right, most I've ever done was 305. or three, Yeah, 305, and I did it six times, and that was it. Happy enough that I had heart surgery, and I wasn't allowed to do that anymore. So I'm not trying to even act like I'm going <laughs> to outbench you or nothing like that. So I'm not saying I'm a better bodybuilder or okay, workout. But- what I'm saying is you know what wrestling shape is, correct? I do, yes. Right. I'm in wrestling shape because I continued to do it. You know, and you're you're not, 
and you know you're not. I mean, I'm don't not, say I'm not sitting there claiming that I am, but I right, wouldn't right, dare right. step in the right. ring until I was. Anyway. Right. I no, but I get that. But even even if you were to like, I, no, no, say you had a couple of years to try, get yourself back into it, then then I would yeah, agree. Be, I'm wrestling. <laughs> listen, a couple of years for wrestling, cheap, your cardio. Your cardio. Okay. Say you did it. Then maybe you'd be like, okay, yeah, now yeah, you're a champ. Someone to de- he's someone to reckon with. But what I'm trying to say is, like, honestly, and you gotta you gotta agree with me on this, champ, and I think you would. Um, if, <laughs> if we were to wrestle, like, say today or like when the next, I, I, you know, I'd get you. You know, I get, and not no, I'm, I'm saying you would definitely be powering me first. I'd be thrown around. You throw me around like a rag doll. Sure, I've had that happen many times. You know what I'm saying? But once you start winding, that's when I strike. I'm like, you know, I'll, I'll weather your storm. Cobra. Boom, boom. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know, and, I, and I'm not even knocking you because damn. Well, this sure the hell sounds like you no, are. I, I, maybe that's the alcohol talking. Okay. I apologize. Because right. mm. what I'm trying to say is back in the day, you was a hell of a wrestler. And you really were. Thank that's you. What they, you know why they call him the champ? Because he's this freaking champ. You know what I'm saying? It's like he was a champion. He was a two-time UWC champion. So when you become the UWC World Heavyweight Champion twice, obviously you have to know what you're doing. I was only the UWC Heavyweight Champion once. You know, uh, back in the day, you were fantastic. You know, but since them days, you know, Rick Lieb has become the FSW Champion. FSW World Champion, and then I became the the A um, XW World Champion. Then I became the UXWA World Champion. Then I became the two time RCW World Champion. You know what I've mm-hmm. done is I basically oh yeah, and then I was the um, anyway champion over at Underground. So I was basically adding to my resume. I haven't stopped, and I've been at a championship level for a long time. That's what I'm trying to get. So then, at. let me ask Aaron ahead. Maritz a question back. Yeah. Hearing all these stats that go on for days and pages. Right, Why would you. I dare step into the ring with the Almighty? Yeah. You know, oh, it, champ, and I don't even want to. Rest. I'm friends with the champ. First of all, <laughs> uh, I'm going to say, <laughs> I'm going to say this right I'm now. Say it's not going to happen then, because like, right. I'm not going. It's not happening. Suicide. Rick, right, career quick. suicide for him. <laughs> and at least you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, Thank you. Rick, real quick, Sorry, how many titles have you time. held over the years? You've been a, um, a long time. I've been a six-time heavy uh, our world champion. I've been a three-time <laughs> television champion. Nine. I've been a one-time TV champion, and I think that's it. So you, you've lost 10 matches already in your career? Um, I've lost a hell of a lot more than that, Bo. But see, in order to be a winner, you have to know how to lose. Ooh. And so I can take these defeats, and what I'll do is I'll look at these defeats, and I'll be like, what did I do wrong in that match? Just like I did with the one against Crowley. Thank you, Crowley, for showing me what I did wrong, by the way. And what I do is I start looking at it, and I start dissecting it, and I'm like, you know what? I got to better myself in this area right here. And if you don't better yourself in that area, then you just become... A yard tard. And I mean, that's why a real professional wrestler will always stay training. Thank God you're in the way. always stay in the gym. He'll always be the GOAT. And that's why I'm the GOAT. Yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, you've witnessed it. By the way, have I mentioned? Yeah, like a bunch. Buy the shirt. <laughs> I'm glad you get that reference. Anyway, champ, we got to take Hold it out on, of here. Before we get out of here, okay. I want one more thing here real quick. It has been an honor to be with you guys again. You know what? I, I really love you. you both. I appreciate you both. It was a great time. Um, Thank you. Same I want to wrap well. this up because it, it's going to obviously entertain me. So for oh, my us. purpose. Oh, well, That's there okay. we go. It's okay. Um, <laughs> can we get each year's for Mount Rushmore? And I'm being serious. Rest. Okay. My real Mount Rushmore? Me yeah, not included? No, you can include yourself if you want. No, I won't include no, myself. No, it'll make it funnier if you do. I won't. Funnier? You mean more serious. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, my Mount Rushmore. Uh, no, 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 let's save yours for last. Go ahead, Smyrna. All right, good. My four all times? Yeah. And you're allowed to say Rick, too, if you want. You're allowed to have me on it. You have me on it. The Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Sports entertainment. He couldn't. Brad Armstrong. <laughs> Brad Armstrong. I can put underrated, most, most underrated, most underrated wrestler, wrestler ever. Okay. Barry Windham, new Hall of Famer. Also an underrated wrestler. Thank and you. Rick will like this one a lot. Hot Stuff, Eddie Gilbert. <laughs> Another underrated. I love hot stuff. Any good one? That's a pretty good list right there. Minus Shawn Michaels, of course. I'm not a big fan of HBK. Um, but the uh, well, one thing you're going was, last. I gotta go. No, no, no. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna critique oh. his. Oh, okay. There one we thing go. I was like, goes very good. I, I, impressed with the with with the Brad Armstrong. Brad Armstrong is so underappreciated. 
And Thank you, Barry Windham, very good, very good, very good. Um, Best uppercuts. Why no Mike Rotunda? He was trained by my uh, mentor, the Destroyer. Eh, can't I have four? I know a thousand wrestlers. He would have been five, Rick. No, you get rid of HBK and then you put no. him because <laughs> he's doing that flippy stuff, Bo. Right. right. Not not good enough on the mic, Rick. Okay, I'll get you. You'd have to give him an IRS. I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't give you that. IRS was pretty good on like you're right. You're yeah. Right. But all right, champ. I'm gonna say. Are we going from, from pure wrestling or are we talking about overall entertainment? You created the question. I'm going to say, <laughs> I always, yeah, loved, I always loved Ric Flair. Yes. I always loved Harley Race. Yes. We got a little bit further in time. You got to give The Rock yes. his, his props. And then I would say, uh, there's a couple of different ones I could go here, but got to give Andre even though he's crapping on people's faces. <laughs> Dare I say he was the yeah. shit? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and number five under there was the GOAT. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thing. Yeah, well, because I'm all around better than all of them guys. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, there we go. But, I would love to see you wrestle, Andre. <laughs> Andre <laughs> listen, Andre would have been shitting himself. That's true. On it you. wouldn't have been, been on top of me. It would have been because of what For real, happened Tell me, I'm be real quick. And then real we gotta quick, go. My real what would you have done, real quick, before you say it, what would you have done if you would have been in that position and Andre is shitting on you? I'd have cried in the freaking back. Okay. <laughs> right, I'd like, <laughs> I hope he hate, I hope he doesn't hate me. I'm retired. All right, listen. Nasty. All right, uh, my, my, my co-host, who, by the way, um, hopefully you get better soon. Uh, Ken Sermonary, you know, he's had belts with the Prayers to your brother, prayers to um, He did a lot of road trips with Andre. Um, the reason why I call people boss is because he told me, uh, Andre called everybody boss because he didn't want to remember their names. Or he had trouble remembering their names, something like that. Mm -hmm. And so, <clears throat> um, but he, he said that uh, Andre was the nicest guy, but if you didn't get along with him, yeah. Your guts. He really treated you bad. Right. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, I, that's why I'd be like in the back, like, oh, I hope uh, he uh, likes me, right. you know. But no, uh, my, my my top four, minus myself, of course, because I'm not allowed to really put myself in there, um, would be Ric Flair, obviously, number one. Um, number two, I would put Nick Bockwinkle. Nick Bockwinkle could talk better than anybody. He didn't have to scream. He can just do it. He articulated better than anybody ever did. And his ring work was just phenomenal. Number three, I would probably put Roddy Piper. Not so much for Ooh, his I ring work. I forgot about him. Not so much for his ring work because Roddy wasn't the greatest in-ring performer. No. But damn it, could he cut a promo and yes. he didn't need to be the greatest after that. No. All he needed to do was be good enough. And honestly, he was. Yes. And then finally, I got to agree with you on Harley Race. Harley Race is phenomenal. Harley Race, seven-time world champion. And I'm not just doing this because he was the first guy to come up to me at the Cauliflower Alley Club. I'm doing it because I actually meant it. That's why I marked out to him when he was the first guy that came up to me in the Cauliflower Alley Club. Guys, it was a pleasure, Bo. My Honestly, pleasure. John. Awesome time. Awesome time. Well, that wraps it up. You are Jack, though, by the way. Holy Thank you. crap. I'm getting ring I was, I, was hoping, <laughs> I was hoping so bad to show up and be the biggest one on the set. I work out every day. What the hell? Oh, my God. Ugh. There you have it. The 25-year reunion, Pro Wrestling Weekly. We want to thank all of you for watching and thank everybody that participated in this. Yeah, thank you. And, hey, let's make it not so long next time. All yeah. right. Sounds See good. See you next year. Yep. Bye. <laughs>